Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jordan on my channel It's Just Jordan where you can find me every week uploading videos, navigating my 20s in style. Welcome to part two of the best affordable and high-end trendy pieces to shop for spring 2022. You can't keep up? It's okay. If you missed part one, we touched on the must-have accessories such as the best bags, sunglasses, and shoes out right now. If you haven't, go ahead and check it out right now. And if you have, all right, you're ready to get brushed up on your spring wardrobe. Let's get started. If you guys have any suggestions on what type of content you're looking for, I definitely am looking for comments like that. I'm trying to give you guys more of what you are missing. So if you have any requests, just put them down below in the comments. All right. Okay, so let's talk about draped fashion. So draped fashion, I felt like was a little hard to find, to be honest. So you will see like a little bit of like draped fashion that's kind of minimal. I feel like ruched is definitely in the family of draped fashion, so we're gonna go with it. So when it comes to draped fashion, it's very romantic. So I found like a lot of vacation wear. So I did mention that the draped fashion definitely reminds me of like the Greek goddess era. And so I feel like this dress, gives exactly that i don't think i could find you a better dress that gives you this so this dress is super sexy okay if you're not comfortable showing a lot of leg maybe don't try this dress but y'all she is beautiful said i also found some ruched pieces so this is like a little bra top that has some ruching right here so it kind of has those wrinkles and folds just how like that last dress had but on a more minimal like scale so i didn't mention this in the trends list but i've been seeing a lot of this color like an ox blood type of color so that's just you know that's just something interesting to think about but these also have a matching pair of trousers that are just so cute okay so this dress right here is a perfect example of drape fashion i feel like this is the ultimate vacation dress it's like i'm sorry that we're not in the vacation category yet but this is just kind of what the draped style gives so I definitely had to plug in this brown slash chocolate. It's kind of like a t-shirt dress, but not t-shirt, like a button down dress, but it's definitely more of an elevated version. Okay, so this last one is definitely my favorite on this drape fashion list. I personally have never seen a bodysuit like this and I am obsessed. First of all, this bodysuit came in multiple colors. I can't tell you which one is my favorite, I just linked one of them really you cannot go wrong with any of the colors that they provided so this off-white cream one i know it looks like a little risque you could easily just put a bralette underneath or full-on bra this is definitely like an elevated like statement bodysuit so if you're looking to do like a little bit extra but like not too much this is so cute to just throw on with like a pair of jeans or leather pants love this top i love this top okay for the next trend we have maxi hemlines now i'm super excited about this one because i feel like this is something that not a lot of people touch on but it's such a good look you know but i will say this specific trend gave me some problems trying to find her i found them but y'all i had to get through a lot of homely maxi skirts to find them cute ones this first one i actually kind of cheated a little bit because i already had this one on my personal wish list so you know i'm going ahead and giving y'all a pre-look into my summer outfit first of all the color and then you guys know how i love strings so this actually ties up around your belly button and so it adds a little bit of interest besides just being like a maxi slash peasant skirt it definitely you know gives you something else it also has like this little keyhole detail which i think is really cute it can also be worn as a dress so if you need like a cover up or something just really effortless to wear over something you can just pull the skirt up basically and tie those strings around your neck so the next maxi hemline that i linked was this dress so it is the line by k and i absolutely just really love it for its minimalness but like that extra little something like if you like color you're probably super annoyed with me because you've noticed that i have not linked a lot of it and so i had to throw in this specific dress and i threw it in here because i'm basically paying homage so one of my favorite looks I've ever worn and this really reminds me of my birthday look that I did when I went to New Orleans. But let me just say, if you were looking to make a statement, wear a full out 
tie-dye dress. Okay, so this next maxi skirt is actually just, you know, another variation that I thought I would throw in there just in case you're not a fan of the pleated look. So this one also has some interest to it as well. It has like these little strings that you can tie that go down. You really will have to click the link to see like the true detail of this skirt. But just like, it looks like it flows well, you know? Like I love the idea of maxi skirts because like when you're walking around, they're just like... I don't know but I feel like this skirt would probably do that this also looks like one that you could turn into a dress if you wanted to because you know we we have to maximize our pieces okay if we're gonna be spending all this money investing all this money in nicer pieces we want it to have longevity and so we love a piece that can be worn multiple ways so if you did see the original spring trends video there was this girl who had on a maxi skirt and it was a sheer one i had a really hard time finding a cute one because i just thought that the way she put that look together was so cute but i did end up finding this one and it does come in multiple colors if you were looking to pull that look off as well okay this last one is actually a two-piece set but i did throw it in here because not only is it cute but it's very, very affordable. Like, you could just do a lot with this. So if you did not want to wear the top, of course, just throw on another top. Or even if you don't want to wear the skirt, you can wear that top with other things. But I feel like the set as a whole is really cute together. And if you don't feel like putting a lot of thought into your outfit, this is a really good way to pull off a maxi hemline look. Next up, it is time to talk about, for some people, they like it. And for some people, they don't so much like it. But it is time to talk about where you can find Y2K pieces. Now y'all drag Y2K through the mud in the comments, okay, on my last video. So look, if there's anybody else, it doesn't have to be your favorite out of the list, but if there's anybody else who likes Y2K, sound off in the comments because right now I'm feeling like the only one. So I will say, before I show you these pieces that I found, Y2K, the best place you can find it is definitely vintage. They just don't make Y2K like they used to. Clothes like this pretty much after 2005, they started making a little cheap, a little not cute. <laughs> so if you want to find like the absolute best Y2K, I highly recommend like going on secondhand websites or going to thrift them. Uh, Depop is the absolute best place to find Y2K pieces. But there are still some really good new ones on the market because I know that like secondhand is not everybody's vibe. First up, we're going to start with these jaded London pants. They are obviously really cute. They basically just have writing all over them. Definitely a statement pants. So I suggest going with a minimal top if you're going to go with these jeans. But yeah, they're definitely giving Y2K in the rise as well as the style. Next up, I found these jeans that actually lace up like in the middle. And if that's not Y2K, I don't know what to tell you. When I think of Y2K, the first thing I think of are the Brad stalls, and I feel like one of the Brad stalls, probably Yasmin, uh, she would definitely wear these jeans. You definitely have to click the link to see how cute these are, like up close, because this one just doesn't do it that much justice because it's so far away. But these jeans are really cute and they have a matching top. So here's another pair of jeans that I wanted to show you guys. These are a really good dupe of the ones that I actually had on in the Spring Trends video. So mine are personally vintage, so they would be way too hard to find. But really the special thing about these pants, really like the color or shade or wash, whatever you want to call it. But I personally love my jeans that look like this. So when it comes to Y2K, you do not always have to do like those super tight low rise jeans cargo pants i feel like were really at their peak then as well i feel like they kind of shifted over from the 90s to the early 2000s so we cannot forget about cargo pants so i linked a pair of cargo jeans actually i just feel like they're very cute i love the bagginess of them and then i also love how the model has them like with the crop top that's obviously super y2k so that's just a fun little outfit idea and you guys know i'm obsessed with camo so when i found these like y'all somebody needs to convince me not to buy these <laughs> but when i found these i knew these were another good option as well so again if you're like someone who's super into streetwear these will be a really cool way to pull off the y2k look so even though y2k is based off the year 2000 i feel like i've been seeing different variations of this pant come out a lot 
I can't say that it didn't exist in the early 2000s, but I feel like it's definitely modern day Y2K. So thought I would link those as well. And then of course, the Y2K aesthetic does not stop at pants in general, okay? You can ask Miss Britney Spears. She loves her a little mini denim skirt. In fact, she still wears them to this day. Now you do not have to wear yours as low as Britney. I found some really cute options that would be completely acceptable and really cute today. Okay, next up on the list, we have modern to the max. Again, just a phrase that I coined to help explain this trend the best I know how. So starting off, I actually accidentally ran across a great amazing pair of dupes of my IMG jeans so these are regular white pants but to make them interesting they have lacing detail all up down the side so literally the price of these are a third of the price of my IMG ones so if you're not looking to like go that far in price these are an amazing option so these next pants are kind of like half of Y2K and you can probably see why like it's got like that little thong look it's not a legitimate thong it's just a little attachment to give it kind of that effect but these pants are really cute pretty much without that piece they are just a pair of nude trousers but when you add that that definitely just adds a little bit of extra interest so another way you could style the modern to the max look is by your bodysuits so this specific one is a turtleneck who knew that turtlenecks could be this hot when when did they get this cute when i tell you i used to cry shed real tears when i was put a turtleneck on as a child that was depressing moments okay but this turtleneck specifically has these little cutouts right here just give you a little bit of interest you know we all know that turtlenecks are not the like sexiest thing out there that you can wear but i would say that this one begs to differ all right you guys have already heard me talk about these jeans these are on my wish list right now and these are the a goldie like two-tone jeans so what's special about these is obvious not only are they denim but they are leather pants as well now, I'm not a huge fan of denim alone, but leather pants, I love. So, of course, I'm obsessed with these. Okay, so last up, I absolutely love this piece. So, in the original video, I did kind of tell you guys that if you're looking to do the modern to the max look, these are the pieces that you're gonna have to spend more money on, or else this can go terribly, okay? So, these are either A, hard to find, or B, they're going to be a little more expensive. So, this one is a great example of that. This shirt is gorgeous so you guys only see the back but the front literal button down just a simple button down and that's what I love about it it's like it's definitely giving very much you know business in the front party in the back all right so next up let's go ahead and get into the prep school prep style school girl whatever you want to call it there's many names for it but let's talk about what kind of pieces are on the market when it comes to this style so of course the first thing you're gonna think about is the pleated skirt okay I have various pleated skirts on here I went with a leather one because you guys know I love leather and I also found this one that has a chain because I just felt like it was very different I personally have never seen one that looks like this like it's minimal but it has something interesting about it there's literally so many aspects of this style that you can incorporate so not only is there like the pleated skirt you could also go for the cardigan it's like a collegiate cardigan so I found this red and cream one and they also have it in green but I just love how they styled this one you can see that you don't have to make it so school girl you can like glam it up but this specific collegiate cardigan is definitely one to look at simple but still very cute also I wanted to throw in this brown one okay so I know obviously this is in the men's section which brings me to do not be shy of the men's section okay I go in there all the time I don't care how they look at me that they be looking through the rack I be looking through the rack we're just all there in the men's section they'll be okay I love the men's section because obviously you're gonna find more oversized pieces over there but also I like more masculine pieces occasionally and they don't always give us a good version of those in the women's section I especially love the color combination that it has the brown and the orange it would make for such a cute baggy look with some jeans so this cardigan is definitely a yes for me as well you cannot talk about the schoolgirl shoe without talking about a pair of loafers. So I did put a couple of options. This one is a more classic option, but then I also added the ones that I personally have, which are the Doc Martin versions, which are definitely just more edgy and a little more, I don't know, 
little more rough. Oh, also as a bonus, I did have a picture of inspo and I'll put it right here as well. And I was really liking how they incorporated the rugby shirt into this style. So I did find a really cute dupe of this. I do recommend though, hers is a little small. So if you're going to do this style and you like oversized things, definitely go up like a couple sizes in this shirt. Okay, next up on the list, we have vacation wear. So in the video, I did comment below what my favorite trend was and what my least favorite trend was that I talked about. And I did peg this one as my least favorite. Now let me tell you, it's not because it's not cute. It's just because it's least aligned with my style. I'm very edgy and there's like nothing edgy about vacation beach wear, you know? But really pretty and of course, I'm gonna wear it when the time comes. When I'm on vacation. First off, I did discuss crochets. So I found a couple of beautiful crochet dresses. Starting with this maxi one, really cute on top of a swimsuit. But then I also found a shorter variation. Now this crochet was kind of like a bigger crochet. So I will say this one, even though it's vacation wear, it is a little more edgy. And so I'm probably leaning more towards this one from my personal style. But if you're not into like the bigger like see-through holes, I did find this two-piece set. I can definitely see this with like a pair of strappy sandals, a little beach hat, a big tote. Such a look. And then of course... The rule of two-piece sets, you can wear them separately. So not that I saw this anywhere, but I did let you guys know that I'm loving like the button-down sets for when it comes to vacation wear. I just feel like they're so easy to throw on, very effortless, comfortable, obviously flowy. So you can throw these on, either button them up or throw them over a swimsuit and leave the top open. You have a lot of options when it comes to these. So honestly, I'm not going to lie, I added this set just because I thought it was cute. I didn't really discuss anything going on on this particular set, but it definitely was giving like I'm going on a vacation, we're hiking through the jungle. But I will say what makes it especially like springy vacation vibes is the fact that this is a linen set. And you know, I think linen is probably the ultimate material when it comes to spring slash summer. Also found this sarong to be really cute. So this is the blue one. I originally had shown the orange one. But they sold this one out, so clearly it's in high demand right now. She is the inspo that I used in the trends video, and so she honestly, like, really turned me on to the orange. But the blue one's really pretty. They really just have different colors, so... Obviously, this is something really good to look at if you are going on a vacation. Last up, I found this really like bunchy top, but it comes in a matching set. And it also comes with a skirt that's like, it kind of looks like a sarong, but I think it is more aligned with a skirt. But with this one, you wouldn't have to tie it up. So as we can see, this is definitely giving vacation vibes. But it's also kind of leaning in with that draped fashion trend because it's kind of got like some ruching in it. Really pretty. Okay, it is time to talk about color. So, I said in the last video that the trending color, at least one of them, because you know there's multiple, but the trending color that I'm definitely leaning more towards this season is the saffron red slash red saffron because I still have not decided which way that goes, but definitely that shade. Now, I will say this was definitely a hard category to find as well because it's not like you can just type in saffron red and they're going to show you saffron red things, okay? So I really had to go through the reds and decide which I felt exemplified this the most. So starting off with a two-piece set, I gave you guys a lot of new two-piece sets, and so I did find this one, and it's just... There's no way you're stepping out and not being the baddest at wherever you're going if you put this set on. So again, you can wear this separate, but not only is the silhouette of this outfit just amazing, but the color just definitely adds like an extra punch. So next up, if you're like kind of like me and you like to wear color to like a minimal amount or like add a little pop, this is a really good thing for you. So this is a knit bolero top. And so basically you'll put on some regular top right here. My choice would probably be like a basic white crop top. And then you can throw it on on top. And then I would probably just throw on like some baggy light wash ripped denim jeans. <laughs> Sorry, I laughed because my mom literally hates when people say denim jeans. <laughs> but anyways, so yeah, I thought this was a really cute way to incorporate... Inco I'm struggling with words today. We've been doing a lot of talking. This is a really good way to incorporate that color in your closet if you're not big into wearing it all the way down. Speaking of, another way that I found, which I'm a big fan of, if you are into like more like street style streetwear, this cropped puffer vest 
so so cute so again you can layer it with colors you're more comfortable with and that's a really good way to add a pop of red okay so I'm gonna talk about these last two pieces kind of together because I literally found them together so this was very lucky of me but I was definitely wowed by this sweater so this is like a fuzzy saffron red or even kind of maybe a coral color sweater either way it's very vibrant very colorful really really pretty it's giving cozy vibes but it's giving more like spring cozy vibes so we're kind of clinging on to the winter cozy but we're going more into like the vibrance of spring so if you are in like one of those colder climates and y'all aren't really ready to bust out you know the crop tops and the halter tops and all of that this is a really good way to bring like some spring into your wardrobe for right now like it's gonna be cozy but again like still vibrant but not to mention you guys <laughs> they really did that when they added these pants with it these wide leg pants would be a dream paired with the sweater or on their own all right you guys that brings me to the conclusion of this video I really hope it was not overwhelming like I said it was very trial and error okay so yeah we're gonna see how you guys like this and then we'll go for it based off of that so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up that helps so much that shows YouTube that you actually liked it and then they will push the video thank you guys so much for watching I'm sorry if I sound raspy like I said but yeah, I hope you guys like the video and I will see you guys next time.